With cost of living pressures rising, these buy now, pay later schemes are becoming more appealing. Now, Tammy Barton from My Budget joins us now. Tammy, what do people need to consider before signing on? Before you sign on with a buy now, pay later scheme, make sure that whatever it is that you're signing up for is actually in your budget and is affordable. And also make sure that you make the repayments on time because there are significant late fees if you don't make those payments on time. Mm. And what is your advice to people? What can they do instead of relying on these schemes? Well, instead of relying on these schemes, of course, putting a budget together is a great idea. Using cash or debit cards so that you're not getting yourself into debt because I think the thing is a lot of people don't realise that these buy now, pay later schemes are actually debt and they are a form of credit. And how can that be damaging to them long term? Well, long term, if you don't manage your buy now, pay laters correctly and you do end up with late fees, one, it can become expensive, but two, they are on your credit file. And mainstream lenders don't look favourably on these buy now, pay later schemes. It can impact your ability to get a personal loan or a car loan or even a mortgage or even if you need to refinance, it can impact you in that way as well because they're not looked upon favourably. And also, if you do get these late fees and it becomes a default, it can stay on your credit file for up to two years. Good stuff. Some great tips there. Thank you so much, Tammy.